to my channel so this is part three of my christmas journal journey series where i am tracking uh, my progress through my christmas journal so this morning i just made my sims for like 100 baby challenge cover page so here i'm just gonna put like all the pictures of the different matriarchs um here to keep track of that and then here, I just created a little tracker of when the baby's born and then like their progress from baby to toddler, child to teen, and then young adult. And then I wrote their father's name and then their birthday in there. Now what I'm gonna do is just make a page over here for my writing for the day. I'm just gonna take this scrapbook paper and actually I'm just gonna rip it at a diagonal kind of thing. And then I'm going to glue one here, one there. So the two pieces I'm going to be gluing on here are this elf quote, the best way to spread Christmas cheer, singing love for all to hear, and then this little um, clip out from People magazine with Buddy the Elf as a wreath. I think that's really funny. That's all there really is to this page. I think it's cute. Alright, so it is a little later in the day. I got my mail and I got this really cute card from a Reddit group, a uh, Reddit user. So I put that in here, but I know I have some Mickey themed Christmas stickers. I'm gonna look for those and then try to like fill in the white space a little with that. So here they are, they're really cute. I didn't put any washi on this page. I didn't feel I don't have all of my Christmas washi tapes with me here at school, so I have to wait till I go home um, for Thanksgiving to have access to them. So I'm just making do with what I have here for now. Um, let's see. I guess we'll take Minnie Mouse. What I'm covering here is the envelope, by the way. I just don't want my address out there or the sender's address as well and then I'll just stick another one up in that corner or we'll use Pluto love Pluto and we'll just nice and simple and cute so now I'm just gonna decorate this page what I'm gonna do I cut this uh, piece of scrap of paper it's kind of crooked or it is crooked um, but I cut a strip of it and I'm kind of going to use it like washi and just glue it on the side here. And this page will probably end up being used tomorrow. And to uh, kind of add more to it, I'm going to take one of these gift tags from Walmart that I got last year and just stick it. I'm going to stick it over here, or maybe in the middle. Mm -hmm. I'll stick it here. I always tend to put things in corners or towards corners. Nice and simple. Here's what the two pages look like. I'm probably gonna write on this one tonight and then probably that one tomorrow. So at least I have that prepped for the morning. Hey guys, so I'm currently out on a walk. I haven't done any writing yet, but I need some exercise. So I'm just doing laps around the campus. All right, so I'm finally getting some time to write in my journal. 
Um, yeah, I didn't do anything for the day so far. It is 8.25, so I'm gonna write for a little bit. And I thought I would set up a little time lapse. Oh, I'm j I just have this book here to cover up my address and some things I wrote. It's Quilinus by Shakespeare. Very interesting play, actually. Even though I've never heard of it before I took this class, it's really interesting. I liked it. And maybe because it's one of the more easier plays of Shakespeare just to read. It's not too complicated with language. So I'm just making a little label for the date. I mean the time. Let's see if that blood grew. Some people ask me if I glue two pages together. I don't. I don't know. I only do that when I'm gonna use Sharpies because Sharpies bleed through. But other than that, I don't really like gluing pages together because I feel like I'm wasting paper. But it didn't bleed through, so that's good. If I do use Sharpie in this journal, which I might down the road, then I will probably have to glue two sheets together because this paper quality doesn't seem like it's super thick. Okay, I just realized today's not the 18th, today's the 19th. I've been getting my days wrong in my journal the past couple of days, but this will be an easy fix, hopefully. I'm just going to take this seven sticker pack and put an eight there instead. And then for today, which I put as the 18th, but it's really the 19th, I'm just going to glue a piece of um, paper over the eight and just put a nine there. This is what happens when you're doing a million things at once. You forget what day it is. Time goes by so fast. I just lose track of it. Now it's gonna look funny. It's kind of gonna bother me, but what can I do? Yeah, it looks different. Okay, so now back to my writing. All right, so I'm gonna set up another spread since I ran out of room on the other page for, to write. So I'm just gonna use some scrapbook, scrapbook paper again. I'm gonna cut it diagonally and then place one in this corner and then another in that corner. Like I said before, I tend to gravitate towards the corners. when decorating journal pages. This 
So now I'm just gonna place a couple of stickers, another one of those gift tags. This one says be jolly. And I'm probably just gonna put it in the middle. And actually, I'm probably going to put some washi on the top and the bottom. So let me look for the blue one. I so have this dotted one. I think it's from Michael's. Actually, it is. It came in like one of those boxes with like the 20 something rolls, but then like they started something them into that like three for a dollar bin if I remember correctly So I'm going to take one of these vinyl stickers that I got from Amazon. I guess this page will be kind of Santa blue themed. Ooh, it's kind of crooked, but I'm afraid to rip it up. So we'll just leave it. And then I'm going to take the Santa sticker. I think this sheet was from Target last year. And I'm going to, or maybe it was Michael's. I'm going to put this here. I think it looks cute. Here's an overview view of it. So I guess the rest of the night, I'm probably going to continue working on my research papers and then write a little bit and call it a night. I forgot to record, or I didn't get to record the process behind this page, but I think it's really cute. So I used some Constellation washi up there, stuck some Dollar Tree stickers. This is another image from uh, Google or Tumblr. And I really like how it all kind of meshes together. I didn't record too much today because I was super busy with other things. But I'm going to end this part here. So I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.